everybody welcome back to another weekly craft video my name is Tori and I'm here in the Whitewater Public Library's makerspace this week we have a new craft activity for adults but as but as always anybody who would like to participate is welcome to um, these little guys are felted soaps so as you can see this one is still wet I just made it because I just finished filming the video um, so what this is is just a bar soap that has some wool roving applied to it and you apply friction and that causes the wool fibers to sort of knit together and encase the soap. And so when you use it, um, it, uh, it provides like a really nice um, little bit of an abrasive exfoliating feel. Um, so this is one that I just made and then this is one that I made a couple weeks ago and that I've been using and it's holding up really well. Um, so if you would like to see how to do this activity, just stick around. In your craft kit this week, you are going to get a bar of soap. We have Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. Um, you're going to get some wool roving. We have some different colors available so it'll just be a surprise which color you get in your kit and you are going to get a nylon stocking. If you have a different bar of soap, maybe your favorite soap at home that you would rather use for this project, go for it. You can use whatever soap you would like. Um, one thing that I did read online though is that if you have a square or rectangle shaped bar soap, um, those can be a little bit more difficult to felt because of the sharp edges or the harsh corners. So one thing that you can do is shave down the corners with a vegetable peeler so that they're a little bit more rounded and the felt adheres to the corners a little bit better. If you do end up using a different bar soap, you don't use the one that comes in your kit, you can feel free to donate that soap back at the library. We have a free little pantry here at the library. You could bring your soap, donate it along with any other canned food that you have at home. Um, and it'll go to someone in our community who could use it. So grab your wool roving and unwrap it a little bit. Yours might be shaped differently than mine, um, but what you're going for is kind of um, flat strips. Maybe you have one big long strip or maybe you have a couple shorter strips. Either way, you just kind of want to shape them into a nice flat piece like that. Thin, flat piece. Okay, so once your wool roving is in a thin, flat strip, um, you can just wrap your soap. So just do your best to cover the entirety of your soap. You can start by like wrapping it around in one direction like that and then kind of switching and wrapping the ends. Just do your best to cover the whole thing. And once you have it wrapped, you're going to grab your nylon stocking, open that up and slip your soap with the wool wrapped around it right into the toe of the stocking. All right, and now we are ready to start felting. At home, you're probably gonna wanna do this at your sink, um, but I'm here in the makerspace, so I just have this bowl of water that works too. And I'm going to Go ahead and dip my soap into the water, get it nice and wet. And now I can start felting. So what you wanna do is start rubbing the soap on all sides, on the edges too and on the ends. And what this is gonna do is cause the wool fibers to start to knit together and just create a felted layer over your soap. So we're using the nylon to help hold the wool, the wool fibers in place so that when we rub it, they don't move around too much and they start to encase 
the soap. So here's what I did and I thought it worked really well. I felted the soap for five minutes straight by rubbing on both sides of the soap and on the edges. So I'm gonna do that for five minutes and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I've been felting this soap for five minutes now. And what I'm gonna do is open it up, open up the stocking and carefully take out the soap. And I'm doing this because while you're felting, you can actually begin to felt the wool to the inside of the stocking, which I can see that has begun to happen with mine. So I want to stop that from happening. And so I'm just gonna gently, carefully pull out my soap. Yeah, see the little fibers are starting to stick to the nylon. We don't want that. So let's pull it out. So now is a good time for you to check your soap. Make sure that uh, the soap is covered. The whole surface area everywhere is covered. Um, you could maybe still move around your fibers if you needed to. Um, but mine's looking really good. So now we're going to go back in the nylon. So now I'm going to rub it for another five minutes. And I can already tell a difference in my soap. At the beginning, um, I could feel the wool on, sitting on top of the soap. It felt really fluffy. Um, but now everything is kind of hardening up. I can tell that the fibers are coming together over the surface of the soap. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but I can tell a difference. It feels different now than it did when I started. So anywhere that feels kind of soft still, you wanna make sure you focus on that area um, for another five minutes. As you can see, you do lose a bit of soap during this process, but not too much. You started off with a pretty big bar, so you still have a good amount of soap left. Ooh, look at that. So I think this one turned out really good. Um, I'm gonna go rinse this off and I'll be back to show you the final product. Um, as you can see, it's still very wet and soapy, um, but I think it turned out really well. The fibers are really adhering to the soap and um, Every time you use it and you rub it in between your hands, you're actually continuing to felt the soap. So it holds up really well and um, it provides a really nice abrasive um, texture against the skin when you use it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this craft activity. Um, if you do do this activity, please share your photos with us via email or on social media. We love to see your completed projects. Bye! Find us at 431 West Center Street, Whitewater, Wisconsin 53190. Our current hours are Mondays through Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., Fridays from 9 a.m. through 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 9 a.m. through 3 p.m., and Sundays we are closed. To keep up to date, add us on social media. And for more information, please visit our website at www.whitewaterlibrary.org or our Facebook page at www.facebook.com-ilypl.